When you get this auto injector from the pharmacy, it will come in a box of two and a training auto injector. Each auto injector will be in its own carrying case. Do not carry the trainer around with you. You may grab it by mistake during the allergic emergency. The training auto injector is gray and contains no epinephrine, and that is what I will be using today. The auto injector that you will want to use during the allergic emergency will be either yellow or green, depending on which strength your doctor has prescribed for you. You will want to remove your auto injector from its tube-like case. This is a training injector. I don't have a case to show you. Place the auto injector in the palm of your hand and wrap your hand around it like a fist. Do not put your fingers or thumb or hand on either end of the auto injector. Place the orange end of the auto injector near the middle of the outer part of your thigh. Remove the blue safety cap by pulling straight up. If you do not remove the blue cap, the auto injector will not work. Swing and push the auto injector firmly on the thigh until you hear a click. The click means the injection has started. You may feel some pressure from the auto injector pushing back. This is expected because the auto injector is under pressure. You want to hold it tightly and firmly in place for three seconds. One, two, three. The in injection is now complete and you can remove the auto injector from your thigh. The orange tip will cover the needle. You'll want to massage the injection area for 10 seconds and call 911. Do not try to reuse the auto injector.